So where are the places that I can inject the insulin? So insulin, insulin can be injected in several different places. The most common place we see people inject is actually in their abdomen. And when you go to the abdomen for a place to inject insulin, we want people to stay two fingers away from the belly button because it's very sensitive there and stay below the rib cage but above the pelvis bone. So you can go from this side all the way across to this side. Okay. Okay. Another place to inject insulin is the arm and it's the outer area of the arm back here. You want insulin to go into the fat tissue. Mm -hmm. So we don't want it to go into the front of the arm here where it has um, big blood vessels and it has more muscle and we don't want it too close to the elbow so you put one hand over the elbow one hand over the shoulder we don't want it going to the muscle area here so if I was measuring with you I put mm -hmm. one one hand over the shoulder one hand over the elbow mm -hmm. draw a line down the center and I'm going to use the back part of your arm here this mm -hmm. back part right there oh, okay. it can insulin can also be injected into the leg the thigh area Again, I put one hand over my knee, one hand over my hip. Pretend you see a crease in your pants, and you go to the outside part of your leg, not the inside part of the leg. Even though there's lots of flesh, you can pinch up on the inside part of the leg. There's too many blood vessels there, mm -hmm. and there's too many nerve endings there. Mm -hmm. It's not the best place. So you always go to the outside part of the leg. Okay. Okay. Additionally, there's some people who inject insulin into the buttock area back here. Mm -hmm. um, so that can be used as well, this buttock area. However, mm -hmm. it's very awkward to reach that spot as it is with this. It can be awkward to put it in. Mm -hmm. um, if I was to use my arm as an area where I did want to do it myself, and I'm using an insulin pen, one strategy would be to put my arm on the t top of a chair and then roll my arm forward. And now this is nice and tight, mm -hmm. just as if I was pinching it myself, and I could put the insulin in like that. Why, why is it that we don't want it to go into the muscle or close to the blood vessels? Or because each of these insulins works for a specific time, and when we put the insulin into the f fat area, what happens is we get that expected action of the insulin. Whereas if we put it into muscle tissue, muscle tissue has more blood vessels running through it, and the more exercise a person does increases that blood flow, which then will change the absorption of the mm. insulin. And when you put it into fat tissue, we get a much more consistent, expected, predictable absorption of the insulin. Oh, okay. So if I was to use this pen device, and I was going to inject myself, so I would have my insulin all ready to go, and in this case, there's no actual insulin in here. What I would do is I'd get my pen ready, I'd have my dose ready, and I would select my area where I want to inject the insulin, and I want to pinch the skin up and the fat up so that I can pull it away from that fat tissue. For this pen, I'm going to put the needle straight in, when I put the insulin, the needle in, I can let go of the pinch and I can push to dispense the insulin. I'm at zero now, so I'm going to leave the needle in here for a count of six seconds so that all the insulin get, get absorbed. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand. And now I'm going to pull the needle straight out again. Okay. Each. It wasn't painful? No, I felt a little poke, oh. but it didn't hurt. So, for those of us who are afraid of the needle, is there a trick to building up courage to use it? That's a common question. <laughs> and most people, I'd say 99% of the people who take an insulin injection, they'll tell me the actual the needle poke for their finger blood testing actually hurts more than does this particular needle. Oh. So... It doesn't matter if you go the needle in quickly or the needle in slowly. You mm -hmm. can do either or. One way is not better than the other. But mm -hmm. you can put the needle in and then push the push the plunger down until all the insulin's been given, and then pull the needle out. Oh, okay. Okay. For people who are super um, cautious of the insulin and what it might feel like to put, poke the needle in, some people I've advised they might try using an ice cube on their skin. And the ice cube, if they rub it there first, it tends to make the skin cold and a little bit cool. Mm -hmm. And so then they can poke the needle in and they tend not to feel it. Oh, okay. <clears throat>
Should I clean the spot where I'm going to inject the needle into me? Mm -hmm. No, you don't actually need to use an alcohol wipe on your skin first. Mm -hmm. Every time when you use a brand new insulin needle, that needle's completely um, sterile. sterile, and your skin, as long as you've been showering regularly, have clean skin, mm -hmm. then you're not going to get an infection there. Mm -hmm. Times when you might want to use an alcohol wipe is maybe we are out camping and you can't have a fresh shower every mm -hmm. day. You might want to use an alcohol wipe then. Mm -hmm. um, if somebody was immunosuppressed, say they're on uh, steroids or they're on anti-rejection drugs, mm -hmm. they might choose to use an alcohol wipe first. Mm -hmm. But there's no data that actually shows by using an alcohol wipe that you're actually preventing infections on your skin from an insulin injection at the time. Um, if people are in the hospital because there can be a number of bacteria and infections around, nurses will often use an alcohol wipe in that situation, mm -hmm. but for home use, an alcohol wipe is not necessary. Okay.